Hello, my beautiful people. It's time for our lunchtime rune pool. Let's pull some runes, shall we? All right. That's spirit. Some guidance. Have our green man. Green man. We have our Iona stones. And we have our Icelandic stone. Alright, so I'll ask Spirit for... Uh, we're going to do three Norns. We'll do present energy. Remember, this message may resonate with me or it may resonate with you. Maybe both of us, maybe neither of us. We'll see what Spirit has to say. If, uh, if it doesn't resonate with you, I take what does and leave the rest for somebody else. And as always, uh, runestones are meditation tools. Uh, they do not predict the future. All right, present energy is Othala. Just the ancestor stone, which I dropped. Yesterday I was doing a doing my reflection on my ancestors, and I realized it was my grandmother's birthday. She'd be like a hundred and something. She was born in 1911. So, she'd be, she'd be old. So what's our past energy leading up to Athala? I have my nose. And I don't know what's going on with me in these rooms today. And where are we headed? You want to come out. Iwas. All right, so I'm going to take a hot minute to think about these and consult with spirit and see what the message is. I always say that the runes are so interesting, and they really, really are. So, Manus is uh, the like the humankind stone. It uh it means um, I'm just gonna read this so you have the quick words, uh the self, friends, enemies, and social order, and that's the energy that brings us to Athala, and Athala is heirlooms, heritage, and land of birth, and then Iwas is. Uh, yew tree strength, reliability, and trustworthiness. So, as we prepare, for, as, blah, blah, blah. as we prepare for Samhain, you know, we rely on our ancestors. We rely on, um, you know, the wisdom of of the tribe, right? The people who have come before, and you know, as as DNA makes things more possible. Um, you find out more and more about your tribe because now you can, you know, I use um, a bunch of different uh, sources. I had my DNA d done with both 23andMe and with Ancestry. And then I use uh, my, true, uh, my True Ancestry, which is a free service I recommend. I'll, I'll link that below in case you've done, you load up your DNA from 23andMe or Ancestry. And, uh, and it tells you like way back, you know, like how many clans you belong to and, and all that. And, uh, I belong to a lot of clans because, you know, women were gifts and uh, you wouldn't you wouldn't go to war with your neighboring clan if your daughter was over there. So, you know, all that. So uh, so I think, you know, this is just a reminder from spirit that, um, you know, that this this space, this time, this reflection, you know, is worth it. It's worth it to tap into the resources of the ancestors. It's uh, worth it to to know where you come from. Um, in some cases, it's not possible because you might be adopted or somebody in your family might be adopted. Um, there were some surprises in uh, my DNA results, some like Jerry Springer level <laughs> surprises. And um, and so, you know, I, there's a part of my heritage I really know nothing about um, in my um, in my paternal line. So um, but uh, I've always been very tied to my maternal line anyway. So that's always the side I kind of go with. Um, but I think, um, you know, I think it's worth just a reminder that all of your ancestors are at your disposal, whether you know them or not. So like if you listen to the previous message, you know, you can do a meditation where you stand in the center and you think back generations, um, uh, the people that all got together to create you and, and, and for however they got together, right. Whether it was through love or marriage or, you know, some other, you know, some other way. All those forces came together to make you who you are today in 2023. And, um, and, and you can trust that. 
you know, you can trust the wisdom of the ancestors and you can trust the process. You can trust uh, the wisdom that they have for you and, and how to live, you know, a life, a life full of light and love. So it's a good message. I mean, so they're always good messages. And, uh, you know, sometimes you think to yourself, like, you know, like, it's all this ancestor stuff, like, is that, you know, like, is that even worth it? Like, is it, is it worth it? Like, you know, they're not really there. But they are. They really are. They really are there. Um, you know, your recent, your recent ancestors, people who have recently passed, you know, you certainly, you carry them in your memory, right? Um, but then, you know, the people before them, the people you don't know, the people's names have been lost to time. Um, and, you know, documentation only goes back so far. I mean, fortunately, uh, England has great records, so I'm able to go back pretty far in my mom's line. Um, but, you know, it's, it's worth it to know, you know, what made you who you are, the fabric that is your soul. All right, let's see if uh, Spirit has anything else to say. We just got one card and it's the weavers what an interesting card to get so the weaver says fate manifestation and decisions and i always think about the weavers as as a story right so part of the web is built right and this but this spider is continuing to work it and you're continue continuing to write your story you know so you have your ancestors you have the stories that have made you and you're making stories and your stories will make somebody else right and it's a constant process right and if you know anything about spiders, sometimes, you know, the wind comes and blows it all away and they have to start over, right? They have to start over with their stories. And so you have what's in it, in you. You have the web juice, whatever that stuff's called. You have it in you to create your stories. Um, and you can rely on your ancestors. And Samhain is a perfect time to do that. All right, let's see what else we have here. Things are falling everywhere. Three passes and see what Spirit has to say. That one shot out. Must be important. Let's go get the one that flew out, shall we? Look behind me. At my window. All right. What flew out? Go with the flow. And didn't we have that yesterday with Lagus, right? We had Lagus, which is sort of go with the flow. You know, be open. Um, you know, be open to all the different possibilities because there's a lot of beauty right around the corner. Like, this is beautiful, the spot that the canoeer is in. But it might be even more beautiful around the corner. And the stories that make us, you know, we our story is ever evolving. And uh, it can be even more beautiful right around the corner. We also have Divine Light. I love this card. So this is, you know, like the Stonehenge card. And you can look at the person walking either as walking to the light or walking from the light. Right? <coughs> So, you know, as you, as you uncover your ancestral, you know, path, you know, for me, that's the Celtic um, experience, which is represented in, in the Stonehenge walls, right? I can walk to the light and learn more, and I can walk away from the light, carrying the light to others. It's a beautiful card. We have understanding. You know, and really when you, when you look at, at the figure here, it's just, you know, understanding the world around you is made up of so many parts, right? There's the bottom part here. There's the part where she stands. There's a light, right? And it's understanding that all the pieces work together and that, um, that light and love in this world come from us, you know, trying to understand, not always trying to talk over people, but trying to listen and understand 
all the different components that make up this experience. And then last but not least, we have clear your aura or clear aura. So your aura is the space around you. So just a reminder from spirit to, you know, to clean that space often. Samhain is a really good time to, um, well, you know, you, we should clear our, our, our auras often, but Samhain is a really good time uh, to clean our space, clean our energy so that we can be prepared for the new year that takes place in the Samhain season. So that is what I have for you today. I am wishing you all the very best in light and love. Take care. Bye-bye.